Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother. And I'm here with my weekly wine review. So this one came through. Um, you know, I'm not a big Chardonnay fan, but I got a chance to um, get a special deal on a couple of wines. And uh, one of the recommendations was this California Chardonnay. So if you followed me a little longer, you'll know that I'm not a big fan of Chardonnays. But um, they said this was a little twist to your regular classic flavors of actually Chardonnay. This is the Bear Hug. Yeah, the Bear Hug Winemaker Select at Chardonnay's 2016. Check it out. Um, so if you see this, can you read it? Yeah. Read it right there. So, so I decided um, I'm going to get a taste of that because... And look at the readings, uh, the flavor, green apple, nectarine, honeysuckle, and melon. So that, that kind of made me think that it would say, hey, let me give it a try. So the recommendation was this should be very chilled. So 45 to 50, um, more so on the very chilled side. So, and I was getting some pasta because it's been in the 90s here in Georgia. So I wanted to be able to say, let me have something that I can sit in my backyard um, do some reading and something really nice cold chilled with some fruity flavors so or um, you know tropical flavors so I decided to grab this one so this one I just pulled straight out you know and I'm an old school guy so here's my everything that I use so Top off, and this is how I work mine. I don't work it. I don't have those newfangled stuff that whoop, put it in, pop it out. I do mine's old school way. So, and um, all my wines, I get the enjoyment of kind of get it all the way through. So, get this down and dirty, and go from there. Grab it. Get a little closer over here, so I don't have to make a mess. And I, I kind of do this so I can have the control. And I know I'm really getting in there. I'm feeling the cork and going from that. And we slide it slowly out without a problem. So there you go. So let's pour a little. Take a look at that. Mm. And as you can tell, real crispy, clear, light straw. So let's get a flavor. Let's get a whiff, rather, not a flavor. Put the aroma out of it. Ooh, yeah. You do smell those melons. Um, slightly mixed terrain. Hmm. Really crisp smelling too. So you got the melons, a little of the lemony, like you normally would. Um, um, really like to get a taste of this real quick. This is really, really cool. Very good. So, this is what I'm getting for, Mister. It's, it's really light. I do taste um, the kind of the lemony, uh, melony. Uh, if you taste it with uh, like a melon taste, um, not really oaky. So that's what I enjoy the most. If you um, put the less amount of oak with this, I'm, I'm really good. It's a toasty oak in a flavor palette, but. Um, not sure about the nectarines and have any nectarines in a while, but seems a lot drier too because it's gone from my palate quickly, so it, it's not lasting like um, 
you know, normally if it's not that dry, it won't. It, it's just you taste it and continue to taste it. But this one is like gone, you know what I mean? So that's yeah, really great aroma. So if anything, and you, you get a good nose inside of this, it'll be enjoyable. But very good. Um, light pastas. Because uh, so, that's what I'm going to have. Have me a light pasta with this. A uh, little grilled chicken. Um, um, or roasted. I'm not sure about the veal. Because I don't eat veal like that. <laughs> so I can't recommend the veal. I recommend the veal. I'm not really I'm not sure with that. But um, this one is pretty good. It is pretty, pretty good. Um, I, I wanted to um, have it, like I said, with my um, pasta and a creamy pasta based on that. And what we have is it's from uh, the Saddlehorn Winery. So Saddlehorn, if you really looking at what's in the Saddlehorn region, this is one of the bear hugs. It's got a Cabernet in there as well. So you're going to be able to get um, a couple of those different kind of wines from that Saddlehorn region. But you got to say, um, missed the price point. So sorry about that. I'll put the price point um, in um, the show notes. Uh, it's stating about $26. Um, I think I got it for half that price. Um, but they're saying a price point of $26. Is it a $26? I'm not sure because I'm not a big buyer of Chardonnay, so I can't tell you on the high end or low end, but I tell you uh, it's well worth it at the $13 price point range. So I'm good with that. But if you paying 26, then I think you overpaying. Um, but I love the dryness of this. This is, this is different and the less oaky taste. Um, and, um, that dryness really takes it to another level. But it's Bear Hug Winemaker Select Chardonnay 2016. Um, pretty good for the summer. So if it's starting to get hot, you can crack this baby open. But I think it really tastes good when it's cold. So if you get it cold and get it drank, uh, I think you'd be in a great, great shape. See you next Friday on Urban Wine Life. Uh, follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter on Bougie Black Bro. Um, also on Twitter, Urban Wine Life as well. Um, but go to YouTube so you can see this. You can see it. Um, so if you can hear it through on the podcast, but if you want to see what the bottle looks like, labels, uh, the color, just go to YouTube on the Bougie Black Brother Network. Appreciate you stopping by and see you next Friday on Urban Wildlife.